Hello. This time I introduce Katsushika Hokusai to you. He produced many masterpieces of painting. Mount Fuji, cartoons, landscapes, people, animals and more. I've put together a brief video on when it was drawn. This time is about the Edo period. Katsushika Hokusai was born in 1760, just as Yukio A culture was maturing. He has changed his pen name dozens of times. So I divided it into six phases of activity. This time I will unify the persona with Hokusai. Maybe there are a little different names and ways to divide it up. I hope you enjoy watching it. His first name was Shunro Katsukawa. The work is here. When he first started, he was 20 years old. During this period of activity, he joined the Katsugawa group. His first master was Shunsho Katsukawa. Master was good at actors, beautiful women, sumo wrestling pictures. So Hokusai seems to have been influenced by the technique. Many of the works are of posed figures. It's not like the famous Yukio A prints. This period is roughly 15 years. There's also this kind of perspective. So we can see that he is trying various techniques. And then the name changes. Around this time, he joined a group of paintings called the Rimpa School. And then he changed his name to Sori. Here's a typical painting. It seems gentler than before. The Rimpa School was founded by Sotatsu Tawaraya and Korin Ogata. It seems that Hokusai was influenced by the Rimpa school here. This was a great asset to him later on. Since Sori and his name are here. We can determine approximately period when he drew it. But the famous painting has yet to appear. What about the next era? He changed his name to Katsushika Hokusai. One of his works at this time is a narrative and landscape painting. This is a painting of a story called the Chushingora. It's a story of a samurai avenging himself. Presenting stories in picture books was very popular. So Hokusai made them to meet the demands of the times. These paintings had a commercial transaction where the people bought. The style of the painting seems to have changed powerfully. A very beautiful landscape painting. Hiroshige Utagawa is famous for his Yukioi landscapes. Hokusai drawn more than 30 years ahead of his time. He was a precursor to the landscape paintings that were starting to become popular. He also painted pictures of aristocrats from Japan's past. A poet known as the Rakesan, active in the Heian period. In this way, he built up his skills while expanding the themes. Around the age of 50, he took the name Taito. Around this time, he started making picture books. As the number of disciples grows, he focus on passing on our expertise. A representative work of Taito time is the Hokusai manga. It's a collection of cuts of illustrations. The people, the samurai, the buildings, the animals, and much more. It's a touch like a modern day cartoon. He also painted landscapes like Bird's Point of View. Hokusai had already achieved fame at this point, but Hokusai's quest to further perfect his art. At the age of 61, Hokusai changed his name to its. As a Yukio E artist, he left behind some historical masterpieces. Here's the famous painting. We see them all over Japan and the world. He left a lot of Yukio E prints during this period. The colors are vivid and the perspective is unique. Why was he able to adopt so many painting styles? The reason for this, according to him, is that he said that heaven and earth are the masters. So he didn't stick to the techniques of the school. He was able to create a novelty. There's also a painting like this one. He challenged to paint the natural world in all its forms. The last main name is Gakyo Rujin Manji. The year has reached 71. Here's the artwork. He paint a picture called a Nikishituga. Nikishituga paintings are not wood prints like Yukio A. It means to paint directly. This one is dated because he was drawing it every day. The style of his later years is considerably more powerful. 
historical Chinese style illustrations, and Japan samurai. Even in his later years, Hokusai painted a wide range of subjects. He also painted pictures of nobility and other things from 700 years ago. It is a poem that was established in the first half of the 13th century. As the same kind of painting. There are paintings of imperial events and common people. The Japanese classics. The paintings of the Empress are very precise. It no longer reminds me of the first Shunru. So what kind of character was he? I'm going to share three stories about Hokusai. The living room was messy. Even though he was a successful painter. The house has always been a shabby. Because painting was the most important thing. And he didn't care about the house. It's been reported that he's moved over 90 times. Because he was very invested in his paints and tools. He didn't about living a life of luxury. Drawing was the most important thing. Hokusai learned to paint across the boundaries of painting schools. He actively adopted the Kano school, Rimpa school. Western and Chinese painting methods. He spent decades painting the same subject, all the time. As a result, he have sublimated it into a unique art. It's a way that everything might be halfway through. High aspirations. He succeeded admirably. We all tend to be satisfied with the status. When we achieve fame and fortune, but Hokusai is not. He said he's finally starting to feel confident in his paintings after he turned 70. That's after 50 years of working as a painter. Today, we would be retired in about 40 years. His words are very heavy. I know that the pictures are great. I was once again amazed at your humble personality. What did you think? Thank you for seeing it through to the end. I would be happy to receive a good button or channel sign up. I'll see you soon.